Um, I think you need to excuse me now because I need to do my Mac report. So it is Slovenia one, Denmark one. Great results for the Slovenians who are competing at their first tournament in 40 years since the 2010 World Cup. Denmark had a fairy tale start to this game when Christian Eriksson, the same guy who fainted on the pitch in Copenhagen in their opening match against Finland in Euro 2020, scored the opening goal after great teamwork with a throw in coming into the box. Wind flick doing a back heel, flicking it into the path of not other than number 10. Christian Eriksen of Man United. And what a storybook beginning that was, eh? But it has to be said, Denmark wasted many chances on goal against a very reactive, conservative Slovenian side who were playing 4-4-2 with Janza Spora playing alongside Benjamin Chesko up front for the Balkan side. And as they entered the second half, they began to open up and the Danes began to lose control of the ball. And Janza Spora at the edge of the box lashed in a beautiful strike from 20 yards out with his left foot, deflected past Kasper Michael, who could do nothing about it, that sweetly struck short, and it will be one point to piece for um, each team, with, of course, Serbia England up next. So, solid start for both teams, although, of course, there were a lot of angry faces on the Danish fans' faces towards the end of the match, who were very disappointed and not finishing off their chances and making sure that they could get all three points. I think this is probably a good, better result for the Slovenes, if we're going to be honest, who I think uh, did a good job at uh, narrowing the angles for goal-scoring opportunities for the Danish. They were organised. They knew their roles. They knew their what sort of positions they were playing. They... To be fair, they showed the Scots and the Croats how to defend properly in a game like this, in a game where the opposition will have more possession of the ball compared to them. You know, if anyone saw Scotland and Croatia play over the past two days, I think you will know what I'm talking about. Just hang on a second, because I am doing a match report. Um, my next stream will, of course, be the England-Serbia game, but... Um, I will say Denmark will be kind of a bit worried because if they cannot put their chances away, I think it's safe to say they've got no hope of beating England. And I've got to say it, I'm pretty satisfied with that result as an England fan. And the Serbians, I am sure, will fancy their opportunities against Denmark. Because, you know, I think Denmark are apparently one of the top 10 favourites to win this year's Euros, or top 12, there or thereabouts. Like, they regularly qualify for tournaments, just like Poland, Switzerland, and of course Croatia. So they are expected to do well to some extent and be one of the favourites to reach the group stage at the last 16, I beg your pardon. My next live stream will be at 8 o'clock today, tonight. I don't know where you live, but... Slovenia can take a lot of positives from this result. I mean, the last game will be against England, so I think ideally they've got a chance of maybe snatching a shock uh, victory against Serbia. Although, of course, if they can take a point against both Serbia and England, if they draw all three games, I mean, that would mean that they would have a goal difference of zero. And I think, unless there's four teams that can reach four points, I think... That could put them in a solid position to qualify for the last 16 as one of the best third place teams. I am currently in the UK. Thank you very much. Um, earlier on, Holland took a narrow 2 1 win over Poland. So, I mean, of course, Poland, I think, are already going to be um, 
desperate to take points off the likes of Austria and France. 